You know when someone is selling from stage and at the end the audience gets up and rushes to the back of the room to buy? That's a table rush. My name is Misha Z and the Table Rush Talk Show is all about bringing you the tools, strategies, and tactics that you can use to grow your audience and inspire them to buy. Part two, staying with Bitch Lab. I was on a call recently, a team call on the Two Comma Club X with Steve B. Steve Bartolesco or something, one of the coaches. And I was like, I'm stuck right now. I'm trying to, you know, suss out this new avatar or my avatar or what have you and trying to come up with an offer and and uh, first question I'd asked him was about best way to get a questionnaire online in a funnel and so he showed me so that's super cool so I got that dialed in then the next question was like hey I need to come up with an offer I've been flounning around I got no offer I don't I'm not sure of I gotta have something to offer people <laughs> and uh, so Steve said alright do a challenge you'll get blah 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 your avatar is the, is the you just a little bit ago the you just a little bit ago and I'm like alright the me just a little bit ago well there's the me that was re-entry into business land and then there was so that was a year year and a half ago trying new things as far as um, business stuff and then there was the me four or five years ago who quit his sales job um, and then became a stay-at-home dad and that was me finding new success so this morning I was like wait a minute this you want to create webinars you want to help people create webinars you haven't created your own webinar yet um, how do we fast track that process or how do we seems like it's premature perhaps helping somebody with a webinar since I haven't technically made one myself but I really want to do one I really want to make a webinar I really want to learn how to sell from stage I'm great at sales on the phone I'm great at sales um, direct response so get the phone to ring like send out mailers things like that so that's cool and I can help people with that but I definitely the t t couple things that pulled me into the two CCX were the idea of creating a summit so I did that I saw that and was like I want to do that I want to create a summit and so I jumped into Russell Brunson's ecosystem even deeper and the other thing I saw was this idea of a webinar sell with a webinar and so I'd seen webinars back in the mortgage date when I was in mortgages I was I was great at selling direct to consumer in various ways I was not so good at getting realtors to work with me from stage I could call them directly and get them to work with me or develop relationships that way but this idea of having you know pitching a group of realtors from stage to get them to want to work with me as a loan officer was very intriguing to me and I'd had a couple of fits and starts opportunities to try that and I'd stumbled across a webinar and had started you know this idea of putting together workshops and things um, as many people have this is duh there's this whole thriving industry it turns out 
<laughs> Russell Brunson, Armin Morin, and those things. And I actually was just remembering some of the big, like, pitch, pitch sessions I would go to where they would sell you the the products at the end, like the stadium style, like the 3,000 seat, you know, pitch session. Blankety blanks come into town with with these 20 speakers and in hindsight I see how all of them were selling. <laughs> Anyhow, this is just great. This is great, great fodder. Um, Gosh, I hope it's being of service. But anyhow, I, uh, I, yes, yeah, so wanted to, you know, create a webinar. It's very alluring to me. Hence the Russell Brunson's bang on webinars and selling from stage. He's great at it. So, in we go to the 2CCX. And now I'm like, oh my God, I could help people create webinars, you know, by interviewing them and helping them tell their stories and things like that. I'm good at sussing out those stories. Um, wouldn't it be funny if after I was done with these this series that I was like, oh yeah, I'm s sticking with Table Rush. You never know. I'm just doing what they say, record. Try to be of service. Anyhow, I see that uh, I want to create a webinar. I want to help people create webinars. But perhaps I'm a step ahead. Perhaps I need to get a bunch of people that are a couple steps behind me onto the track to create webinars as I want to. So maybe I should keep the table rush idea. But I do like Bitch Lab. <laughs> I don't know. I need to have this all sorted out by Thursday, by my coaching call on Thursday. Anyhow, I already have a questionnaire made up for, in effect, somebody who's in a bit of upheaval on the direction in their life. So I was like, oh my gosh, I could... I already have that questionnaire made on a zero to 10 question um, schedule, not schedule, uh, uh, like a grade, like zero to 10, how happy are you? Zero to 10, how much fear are you in? Zero to 10, you know, one being, you know, scared shitless, two being, oh my God, every moment's amazing and I can't wait to see what's next. I've already got that created. One of the hard things about selling psychic healing is, is it measurable? So can we have something that's measurable? And I already created, I, back in the day, when I came out of one of my what am I going to do with my life exercises? I had the 90 day meditation boot camp. Um, and part of that was this questionnaire. It was pretty cool and pretty extensive. And it was going to be to, uh, to help, you know, gauge your before and after. It's like your mental status before and after. And, um, and it hit me as I'm trying to create a questionnaire for people what stage of business they're in so I can help them create their offer and their, and their, um, their, um, 
am I trying to say? Create their, uh, you know, webinar and things like that. So then I have, can meet them where they're at. I think you get what you're saying. So it all kind of hit me a little bit earlier that uh, I could, oh my gosh, I could circle back around to that avatar that me four or five years ago who was ready to make a big change and I, then I could use the um, use the uh, what's it called that questionnaire that's measurable, the zero to 10 scale. There's a term for that zero to 10 scale type of questionnaire. It's like the Guggenheim question, Guggenheim format or something, I'll look it up. But uh, I could use that as a before and after. So I could in effect go out to people who are discontent at their careers maybe it's divorced dads maybe it's just people who are discontent in their careers I don't know I'm going to meditate on that and uh, use that questionnaire as a baseline for happiness kind of a thing I think you get what I'm saying more will be revealed suffice it to say that it'll be interesting to see where I am when I go to edit this episode who knows if this is just self-serving <laughs> or serving you the listener or is anyone listening Thank you, thank you for listening to this episode of the Table Rush Talk Show. For resources to help you sell your stuff, go to B-E-L-O-V-E dot media forward slash resources. That's B-Love dot media forward slash resources. And be sure to subscribe, comment, five star, and share. Thank you again for listening.